When you've been questing all day and you have 13 treasure hunter keys. Holy crap, 7 prismatics. Okay, so I'm kind of curious to see. We have a skilling chest, experience chest, antique chest, and a protein chest. So skilling chest, we get, holy shit, quite a bit of stuff. Experience chest, uh, just the average sort of stuff. Protein, um... Okay, so 15 pro a bunch of protein items, which is awesome. And we can't use that. So we're going to go ahead and use all this bonus experience. Should we use it on agility? Yeah, fuck it. 76k agility. And this will have... Okay. Not too bad. Really good rewards today, actually. Here is a nice level 76 agility. Just making some more of these headless arrows in my downtime. Lol, this should be so easy, guys. <laughs> All right, there we go. Completed Slug Menace 1 quest point. 3,500 crafting, 3,500 rune crafting, 3,500 thieving, and access to the Prostolite armor, two treasure hunter keys, and that little annoying puzzle. And yeah, 311. I think most of the quests now are only going to give one quest point, so rip. Look at these kids on RuneScape. Um, I wish you could, like, fucking have a character as a kid. I think that'd be fucking sick. Honestly, really liked this quest. They should make more like this. It was just, there's decent amount of like little puzzles and things like that and it was actually like a good storyline so yeah anyways this should be the end of the quest now um it was one of those ones that was kind of fun as well you know what i mean but uh okay fucking cut scenes and yeah i think it's the kid that you helped from sea slug so that's kind of cool so this should be the end Come on. There we go. We have completed K Kenneth's Concerns. 1 quest point, 12k mining, 5k agility, and 2 treasure hunter keys. Yeah, not too bad at all. So d we did unlock another one there. Um, Did we? Salt in the wound. We, have, we can do this quest now. Okay, maybe. What's a hundred? Okay, we'll fucking maybe do this one. That's kind of cool. Kenneth's, like, grown up now. <laughs> this looks fucked. And there we go. We have completed Salt in the Wound. Two quest points, a hundred bounty ammo within Demonheim. 20 or 45k defense, 17.5k constitution, 15k herblore, a nice 12k summoning. 5k to engineering and two treasure hunter keys really awesome quest and uh yeah glad that one's done we're inside demonheim and you have access to 100 ammo and uh yeah sweet this is so funny the sand just gets like fucking infinite <laughs> All right, there we go. We have completed Hand in the Sand, one quest point, 1k thieving, 9k crafting, and a secret reward from Bird, which is uh, buckets of sand every day. Would be a lot more useful if I'm an Iron Man, but when we get those elite diaries, it's uh, free money anyways. <laughs> Thank you, Silverhawk Feathers. I should be getting some woodcutting XP. Fuck, man, look at this view. You can see everything. Oh, my days. <laughs> this game's so fucking weird. Oh, sick. Throughout that whole fight, we are getting fucking woodcutting XP. All right, there we go. We have completed Back to My Roots. One quest point, 24k farming. We got 40k woodcutting. That's pretty decent. 23k slayer and 15k agility. New vine farming patch, jade farming seed. Okay, that's cool. And two treasure hunter keys. This should be definitely some levels. Here we go with 70 farming. That is awesome. And I guess that's the only level. But yeah, overall, pretty damn decent XP. So I guess we can grow this here. And get our own little tree. That's cool. I just noticed something. Why the fuck do we still have this hand? <laughs> so I'm running a little low on funds right now on this account. So I think all I have to do is talk to her. And I can get my new quest shit. I'm not going to spend any of the quest points, but, um, talk about rewards, I guess. I guess I just trade you or open shop. And, yeah, I have 316 out of, um, 399, so we'll claim all these dice. 
And this should be a ton of money, you know. You have no more rewards to claim. Okay. These dice are going to be worth a shit load, so we're just going to roll them all out right here and see what we get, because you're going to be definitely getting quite a bit of money. And yeah, look at that. 250k and a chap T. I'm not going to record this all. I'll just, if I get something good, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm going to save all the uh, other useless kind of shit here um, for the fortunal, fortunate components when I unlock invention. So yeah, we'll save all those. But here, we already get, got 3 mil cash as well. But here, we can get something good. Also, we got a black boater, so I'm just flexing that. But um, these ones, we can get something pretty decent, I believe. And I think you get like a mil cash with each one. So a blessed dragon hide. I don't know if you can get the dyes. I heard so I heard something about that. But if, you, if, if we just become rich, that'd be pretty fucking sick. So blessed chaps. Nothing too good so far. I think these are just probably more components. And we got a Dragon G. And our last chance at this dice. And we get a Rune 2H. But anyways, 7 mil cash. That's fucking nice just for doing some quests. Okay, so I just did my daily Dungeoneering challenge. I'm not sure if it's going to get me a level or not. Oh, Slayer one as well. And yeah, there we go. We just hit 84 Dungeoneering. That means we're one level away from Frost Dragons. Nice little level here up to, look at that, 71 farming. We can easily probably do Seed Aside now. Coming in with a Hunter level of 73. Yeah, that's a mil XP. Okay, so hopefully we definitely get something better this time. Duradel gets Task. Warped Terror Birds or... Oh my god. I actually really like this task for some reason. Alright, this is the last task until we can unlock these Slayer Helms. I'm pretty excited. Grotworms or Dagonoths, for fuck's sakes. Um. Ah, oh, I really don't want to do Grotworms. But maybe. Dagonoths are pretty fast, but they're. Oh man. That's a lot of Dagonoths, though. I definitely don't want to reset it either, so I guess I could kill the baby ones. Lol, let's just do growl worms. There we go, 75 defense. Alright, look at this gear. We look awesome. It's gonna be so much better. We can finish this task easy. This stuff is so much more overpowered now, and we're almost on this task, and we actually made quite a bit of money. I just decided to do the to do the mature growl worms because this new magic gear just fucking rips through it. And there we go, we have 400 Slayer points, so learn how to craft Slayer helmets, yeah, I think I'm gonna buy that first because it's pretty overpowered, and now we can get the upgrades eventually, um, so yeah, two, 400 points for the tier 2, not too bad, I think next we're gonna do the broad arrows and maybe the ring of Slayer, but that's a lot of stuff to unlock. Alright, this is very exciting, I think we just use all this on each other, and oh, Slayer helmet on the account. Damn. 72 Slayer. If the last couple of clips had some background noise, I think it was like my mom and sister talking. But anyways, we are at the Abyss training some range right now for the Priftinus requirement. I'm going to go and grind that out this week and get Priftinus this week. So yeah, we're just training and this is very expensive using the Red Chin Chompas, but it is damn fast. I don't even have Corruption Blast. I looked at it and it's 16 mil. I do not have 16 mil. I have like fucking 1 mil because I keep spending it on like runes and shit. But yeah, not too bad. We're just going to grind the 75 range. One uh, other good thing about grinding the 75 range is we are getting quite a bit of charm so that we can get, get the 75 summoning for the perf requirement as well. I'll speak into that. There we go with 72 range. It was maybe about an hour and 10 minutes. I got 300k range, uh, almost 100k HP, 6k summoning ju <clears throat> just from the abyssal charms breaking down. We got quite a nice amount of charms almost 200 golds 30 crimsons um so yeah i'm not quite 75 i hit 74 range with 90 kicks p left but uh yeah i guess uh tomorrow i'll finish that because i gotta go to work soon but yeah anyways uh the range training is going pretty damn good uh, last night I got an ancient effigy on my slayer task and we're gonna go see if we can do it probably won't be able to do any of them i guess 
Yeah, we're not going to do any of these yet, but we can uh, stock up on these effigies and that'll be nice in the future. Thank you.